This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles Unit 5, Building Apps Lesson 11 Wall Loops Puzzle 21. Use an if statement in a loop. A common thing to do is use a variable to keep track of some sort of count. When used in a loop, we count things very quickly. <laughs> yes, we do. Scenario. If you roll a pair of dice, rolling a 12, two sixes is rare. How rare? If you were to roll a pair of dice 1,000 times on average, how many times would it come up as 12? Hmm. To figure this out, we could write a code to run an experiment. It would go something like this. Make a loop that simulates rolling a pair of dice 1,000 times. Inside the loop, add an if statement. If die 1 plus die 2 is equal to 12, then add 1 to counter. After the loop, display the result. The starter code sets up the whole experiment for you, that's kind of them, except it doesn't count the number of 12's rolled. That's your job. Run the code to see what, what, what the experiment does. Okay. What's it do? Oh, is it going to be infinite, guys? Okay, it's counting something. Oh, it counts how many times every day? Is... Okay. Add an if statement inside the loop to check the sum of the dice is equal to 12 and add 1 to 12 count. Once the loop is complete, display the number of times the sum was 12. Note, if you remove or comment out the council log statement that displays every roll of the dice, the experiments will speed up a lot. You could do tens of thousands of rolls in a matter of seconds. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it takes time to put it out to the council. All right, I'm going to close or hide that. And let's see what we have. So go a thousand times, dice, okay. Twelve count we already have. So if die 1, I guess we we'll do it twice, die 1 plus die 2 is equal to 12, oops, can use one of our new handy operators. If die 1 plus die 2 is equal to 12, Let's give this a shot and run. 35 times, 24, 31. So it's not as rare as I thought it might be. Huh, cool, but it works. But uh Awesome. But so, uh, so I guess the trickiest part was, I mean, honestly, it's, getting our if statement in. That wasn't too bad though. Let's keep going.